Hey, hello guys, it's How to Tech Simplified, and today I will be showing you how to easily increase your internet speed on Wi Fi or cable, so any internet connection that you're using at the moment. So, first off, open up your laptop or your desktop. From there, you go to the little Windows icon in the bottom. From there, you press right click and you go to run. Now, from here, you simply type in ncpa.cpl. So that is ncpa.cpl. From there you press OK and this window of network connections will open up. Now here you see your ethernet connection and your Wi-Fi connection. Simply check the one that you're using at the moment. For me it's the Wi-Fi connection. You select it and now the Wi-Fi is selected. From here you right click on the Wi-Fi and there will be a drop down menu. Now from here you choose the properties. Now once you're in your properties you simply scroll down and you search for the Internet Protocol version 4. So that's the TCP slash IPv4. So you select it and from there you go down to your properties. Now from here there will a window that will be popped up. This is the DNS server. Now. For this to work, we're going to choose our own DNS server. Now, from here you press use the following DNS server and you simply select 1, 1, 1, 1 and then in the alternate DNS server a1, a0, a0 and a1. Now this is a cloud server which is very recommended to use, which is very fast. You can also use the DNS server of Google, which is 8888, another 8, another 8, and two fours. So from here we press OK, and there you chose your own DNS server. Now this will already increase your internet. Let's go to the second step. Now for the second option, we're going to Wi-Fi once more, open up our properties and from here we go down to configure. Now once we in our configuration screen, we should be having the Intel Wi-Fi 6 properties. Now if your Wi-Fi adapter is different, here should be your name. Now from here we go to the advanced tab and here are a load of options to choose from. Now, simply follow along and follow my easy steps. Now, we first go to the FAT channel intolerant. Make sure that this is disabled. Now, from there, we go down and we go to our preferred band. Now, the value should be the highest. Now, for me, I have a 5 gigahertz bandhertz bandwidth, so make sure to choose it when it is available. When it's no preference, it will go for the easiest route, which is most likely 2.4. So make sure to go to the 5 GHz band and select it. From there, we go to the roaming aggressiveness. Make sure that it is lowest, because if your Wi-Fi adapter is near you, it uh, takes less time for you to connect to the internet. Now from here, if you don't uh, really sure if your Wi-Fi is further from you, then is needed make it medium low and test your internet speed but make sure that it is lowest first now from here we go to to the top where it says channel width for 2.4 gigahertz now this value should be at auto and the second one the channel width for 5 gigahertz should also be at auto otherwise it will be less range and it will lower its power. Now from here press OK. And now if you change any settings, your Wi-Fi should go away, should disconnect, and it will access all the new settings. This will already boost your performance in your Wi-Fi. Now, if this tutorial has helped you in any kind of way, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. But most importantly, thank you for watching this video.